In the 90s, this Iranian filmmaker, Abbas Kirostami, seemed to worship reality in a way that few artists ever did. He started by trying to reduce all falseness from the process of filmmaking. مهمتر از همه حذف کارگردان به نظر من ولی حذف کارگردان معناش حذف مؤلف نیست کارگردانی اینجا بر من شبیه این کوچای فوتباله که اینا تمام کاراشون از قبل باید انجام بدن یاراشون رو باید به موقع انتخاب بکنن بر اساس استعدادایی که دارن ولی موقع مسابقه باید بشینن یه گوشه‌ای مثل تماشاگرا و حرص بخورن یا سیگار بکشن یا عصبی بشن یا خوشحال باشن و دیگه موقع بازی وارد بازی این نابازیگرا نشه This film where is the friends house is a triumphant result of Kirostami filming like a football coach He selected a great young player actor Babak Ahmadpour put him in a world that he knew this ordinary courtyard house in northern Iran kept the camera on the sidelines and asked Babak to do scenes he could understand. Here he talks to his mother about his homework. Whereas The Friends House was one of the greatest films about childhood and friendship. But then tragedy struck. A terrible earthquake hit the region where Whereas The Friends House was filmed. 50,000 people died, including 10,000 kids. Kirostami and his crew drove there at once in tears to look for Babak. Instead, when they got there, they found something else, human resilience. In looking for one thing, they found another. And so Kirostami decided to make a film about them going to an earthquake zone to look for the boy. Reality doubling back on itself again. It was called, and life goes on. ما در واقع در سناریوی فیلم زندگی و دیگر هیچ متناسب با همون واقعیت اون روزی که روز سوم زلزله من به این منطقه رفتم طراحی شد برای اینکه اون روز هم ما بچه ها رو پیدا نکردی همه غیرانه اینم اینو میشناسی؟ این؟ بله میشناسم این سر عبدالله کوکریه فیلم هم بازی بکنه this man's playing Kirostami. In this shot, it was Kirostami himself who was behind the camera talking to the man. And the second film is mostly set in the car. تو یه فیلم دوم ما دنبال دوستانمون میگشتیم ولی به یه چیزی رسیدیم که مهمتر از اون بود ما اونم شور زندگی در همون فاجعه که عرض کردم. On the second shoot, Kirostami met a man called Hussein who had a passionate story about life going on. Hussein got married just days after the earthquake. Kirostami loved this. Here, in the second film, using a static camera and naturalistic dialogue, Kirostami depicts himself meeting Hussein and hearing this story. <laughs> Whilst filming this small scene, Hussein, despite being married, became rather infatuated with the woman playing his fiancé. She, however, did not return his feelings. Kirostami was fascinated by this. His response to it was unique in movie history. Two years later, he made this whole third film about the feelings during Hussein's small scene in the second film. The same actors, the camera's still static, but it's further back this time. We see a director who's playing the man who was playing Kirostami. 
Hussein goes upstairs to try to woo the new woman, an objective frontal shot. And then Kira Stanley films from her position and then his point of view. <laughs> Through the olive trees was about Hussein's infatuation, but also you could say Kira Stanley's love of his love and how he tried to film it and how cinema can film the complex layers of reality and how cameras can change lives. This complex trilogy about the circle of life and love had started seven years earlier with this reserved boy filmed from the sidelines. Seven years later, filmed from a car, Hirostami's favourite way of looking at the world. Babak suddenly appears again, taller but still serious. He was still alive after all. A country that didn't invent cinema, that wasn't rich enough to have a major film industry, a country whose religion, Islam, was in some way suspicious of imagery, was, in the last days of celluloid, using film devotionally, as if it's sacred, as if what it films is sacred. One critic said, we're living in the era of Kirostami. Just as the Lord of the Rings movies were coming at us like an express train, Kirostami's love of simple reality captured the spirit of his times. <laughs> 